This is Mike and on the elk mart today. There's be rose of apple trees on this hill right here. Then when you come down the hill, you find this structure right here. We'll walk down into it. Big old apple sewer. Now, this is not very far off trail. It's up Jake's Creek. Big old apple sewer. One of the little secrets of Elmont. Up the side road, off of Long Jake's Creek, where this uh, park building is, right here next to this old apple tree, is where Lim Ormy lived. He was the last person to live inside Elmont distant cousin of mine and I hear there's an old rock wall, an old road it goes down to Lee Higdon's place. Lee was married to Liam's sister and he had another sister married to a park ranger across the creek over there. We'll go over in a minute. It's Halloween 2015 and I'm in Elkmont. I just came walking down through here. In the National Park, 90% of the old home places are long gone or just very little left of them. Maybe a small rock pile where a chimney once stood, but about 10% of the old homesteads in the park, you can still find their chimneys. This is Lee Hickman's place. It's back in the woods off trail a little ways. Pretty nice little place. You can see the foundation in front of the house there. The spring house back here. This is where the train came up Jake's Creek. They went back up this trail, up to the top of the hill, made the switch back on up the hill. <clears throat> Little flat spot right here, where Lamb's other sister lived. It was married to a park ranger. So right down there is where the train came up the hill. I hear it switch back and came up Jake's Creek. Nothing like the sound of dry, crunchy leaves underneath your feet on a fall Saturday morning. A little side trail off Jake's Creek comes down the hill, crosses the creek and comes up this path. Comes up to the famous Avent cabin. David only built that cabin for his daughter, but later the famous artist lived there. But right back in here, a flat spot right up in there, was another cabin. 
He also built nothing left today but a fallen chimney and a pile of rocks. This whole hillside used to be cleaned off. There's actually some nice farmland right back up in there. This pretty location along the creek that people walk down this path to take pictures of, they may not notice this cable right here. There used to be a swinging bridge across the gorge to where David Oyme lived and on over to Sam Cook's place. <laughs> 